everybody. It is about that time. Thanksgiving's over. So, um, this is my December Tsunami Rose Design Team project. And, um, she has a lot of really cool, neat, new stuff in her Etsy store. But I wanted to do something a little different this time and use up some of my stash. So I went with a fabric book. And I used tons of laces and just pieces and parts kind of thing here. Um, the actual book itself is about, I don't know if you can see, it's about six and a half by six and a half. It's a canvas base, and then I sewed globs and globs of different laces and trims on, uh, and it's every page has one of her printables on there, and then there's some also cool little uh, surprises in here. And before we start, I'm going to thank April and Dolly and Shayna and Angie for sending me some of this beautiful uh, stuff that I used here. Uh, a lot of it is vintage or antique mixed with some new for a little bit of bling. And um, there's the spine, really pretty lace with some flat backs. And then the back. Uh, this little piece right here, for example, is an antique uh, tablecloth. And here's an applique that I needed to use. This is another one of her printables. And it's a great way to use up your little pieces. So anyway, <clears throat> I will open it up and we'll see what we got. So this, it really isn't a junk journal. I mean, it's not very practical as far as writing goes. And each page just, there's lots of layering. And like I said, each page features one of her images from her big ephemera kits. And you can just see all the different layers and pieces that are in here. And then every once in a while, wherever you see this, there's a little pocket, and I will pull all of those out and show those later. <clears throat> and we'll just do a quick flip through of the actual pages here. This is what really got me. I, I don't know why. This bird just talks to me. <laughs> so that's why I kind of wanted to do this. And here again, you can see maybe a little bit of the layering that I did. Lots of sewing. Lots of fun, a little bit of glue. Here's some more pieces and parts. Some velvet that I picked up not too long ago. Isn't she pretty? And this is newer lace, and this is pieces of an old tablecloth. And there's some pieces of an old doily here. That's an antique doily. And then some, uh, believe it or not, that's older uh, hem facing or whatever they call it. There's a piece of an antique uh, napkin. Thanks, Shana. <laughs> There's a little pocket here. <clears throat> and I'll just kind of let you... <clears throat> Look at these. This dog cracks me up because he's got a little pipe. Is that hilarious? I believe this is a, like a piece of a curtain that Dolly sent me so you can tell that there's different little pieces and parts of just about everything in here. <clears throat> She's so pretty. Yeah, I don't really need to say a whole lot. You can just kind of look and see how pretty everything is. It um, it actually weighs quite a bit because of all the trims and such on here. And it was getting a little chunky, but <clears throat> I still went ahead and stuffed some of the pockets. <laughs> so those are all 
uh, Tsunami Roll Rose uh, printables. This is uh, from a paper pack that I had. And there again, you can see a, there's an antique uh, doily piece, some old lace. You can just see all of the different layering. I really, really like this. It feels fabulous with all the textures. It's wonderful. So, <clears throat> let's go back to the pockets. And this is, you know, I'm going to say the person who has everything, they don't have this. <laughs> For somebody who really loves Christmas, this is really a nice uh, keepsake, conversation piece, decoration, something like that. And here, this is one of uh, Daisy's printables that I backed with coffee stain paper. And they're like little file folders. I don't know. There we go. If you can see that. My lighting is so bad. So, um... There's some more of her in there, and I got some Sari Silk from a lady on Etsy yesterday as I was finishing this, and I said, oh my gosh, I can't wait to use it. So I will uh, link her sh shop, and Shana gave me some little jingle bells, which went perfectly. This is a Graphic 45. Gotta have some tags, right? And Daisy also has printed printables um, music paper. So there's some music paper. There's some of her ephemera that I cut out, layered, sewed. And um, the music paper, I just put some more lace on, sewed it around. And get a little envelope here. There's little tags and postcards. These are all daisies. Aren't they cute? So, and they're plain on the back so that you can journal on them. And then this tucks back in like so. That's the first pocket. And here is another pocket. I'll pull out the goodies here. And these are also some of Daisy's printables. Super cute. And I still had some scraps left over, so I made this cute little tag. That's one of her ephemera pieces. And she has taken a lot of her most popular kits and shrunk them down into traveler's notebook size, which I like but I couldn't fit a traveler's notebook size in here. So I took those pages and I shrunk them down even more <laughs> to make this cute little book. So these are a Christmas list pages. And like I say, if you just print these out normal, they're traveler's notebook size. But I shrunk them down did some sewing, a little bit of trim, not too much. And then back here is a cute little tag. So that is in the second pocket. I'll just leave that out for now. And in the last pocket here, I have again one of her little tags. And another tag, I uh, had the rest of the music sheet paper and one of her pieces of ephemera and I believe I shrunk these down too to fit on the tags. Some more of that sorry silk and some more music paper to make this envelope which Shana taught me how to make. Thank you again girly. And in here we have, if I can get them out, some more ephemera pieces. They really do come out. I swear I didn't sew them in there. There we go. <laughs> and those are her pieces. And these are some of her postcards. And again, 
I shrunk these down. You get four to an eight and a half by 11 size page, you get four of these. So uh, if you just printed them out regularly, they'd be a nice size for journaling and such for your junk journals. But it's kind of cool because for this little project, I needed them little and I shrunk them down and the, I mean, you can still read everything on there because it's very high quality. So there we go. So those go back in there. And so that is my quick little uh, December uh, design team project which I had a lot of fun doing. I think I'm probably going to end up making some more of these because the layering, it was just so much fun. I really, really liked it. This Christmas book will be in my Etsy shop, and I will link that down below if you're interested. And, um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to make some more of these because, gosh, this was so much fun. <laughs> All right, so thanks for hanging out with me for oh, about 12 minutes or so today. And um, we will have some more special things coming up. Uh, some of us got together and we're doing something special for Christmas. So uh, I hope you will stay tuned for that as well. And we have, it's a chance to make a difference. I'll just say that for now. So everybody, you have a great day and a great week coming up. Bye.